Yay! <laughs> hey everyone, uh, today we are making Pad Thai. Uh, this is the, probably the most famous Thai dish, um, but you know, it's not really authentic, you know that. Um, you know, because the country used to be named Siam, right? And they changed it to Thailand in like 1850s or something. The and about that was me. No? Yeah, that while back. That was cool. Okay, so uh, around that time they were having some problem growing rice, so they were trying to promote people to eat noodles, and the noodles you know actually kind of come from China, I think. So they adapted with the local ingredients, and they call it pad thai. So there's no pad thai yam. <laughs> so the idea is to adapt it to the local ingredients, which you know that's what we're gonna do today somewhat. All right, so this is what we we need to make pad thai. We have the rice noodle I soaked in water for about an hour and then drain and I'm making chicken today chicken pad thai um, peanut I crushed it and I have garlic onion and preserved radish the preserved radish is pretty hard to find in the Asian grocery store so you can skip that if you can't find it and this actually you actually need shallot but we don't have shallot so I'm using onion and here's the vegetable. I have a little bit of uh, broccoli, grated carrot, and Chinese chive. Um, if you don't, if you don't have Chinese chive, you can use green onions, maybe three or four pieces. And first, we'll make the sauce. All right. So this is tamarind, tamarind paste. If you can't, I, I have a hard time finding this too. I haven't been able to find a new one, and we're almost out. And if you don't have any, then you can just use ketchup. It's fine. You just need a little bit sour, sourness. All right. So the sauce, you need some tamarind paste and about two tablespoons of sugar, brown sugar, regular sugar, or, or any sugar. Any kind of sugar. Yeah. That's a lot of brown sugar. And about. Two tablespoons of fish sauce. I think he's put in too many, too much. Maybe a little bit, two and a half. And I would recommend this brand. This is actually my cousin's factory. <laughs> it's a scale brand. It just, right. it just happens to be the best one. Exactly. Okay, um, now we're gonna cook. So we're gonna cut away for a minute right, while we're, we're back. to put some oil in the hot pan. First, we're gonna cook the chicken. Why is it always so loud? Okay. We'll let it sear a little bit before we stir it around too much. It looks pretty good. It's about cooked, I think. So we're gonna take it out. We need to cook the other stuff. Ooh. All right, now okay. we will cook the rest of the stuff. Okay, so then you need a little more oil this time. A little more oil. Okay, now we'll add the aromatics. Can we stir that around? Now we add the noodle. And the, just the broccoli. Stir it please. Stir it, please. How? Okay, okay, I told you to do this. You go dig it in like that and turn it. Okay? And we're gonna stir it until it absorbs all the juices and it looks a little dry. I'm gonna add some water here. Alright, 
how to this, please? I want to see if it's about done. Let's have to try it. Oh, just another minute. Okay, now we're going back in with the vegetable. Oh, got the egg. Okay, it's all right. Let's put the cover up to the side. Help me, I sit. Hang on to this. Oil. Egg. Egg. We're gonna stir it a bit. Just put the noodle right on top of that and let it cook for about 30 seconds or so. so some of the eggs are cooked. Now we just stir it, stir the vegetables in. So I'm guessing you need to have a strong forearm to be able to stir all of these things. It looks like there's quite a lot in the wok here. That's why the skillet doesn't work as hard on the skillet. Okay, we'll just cook it for just a teeny bit more and we're pretty much done. Make sure the eggs are cooked. Peanuts. We put about half the peanuts in and the uh, other half we'll put on top. For garnish. For garnish. Alright, we're done. Alright, we'll plate it up and we'll bring it to the table. Okay, we're back. Um, Alright, let's see how our pad thai tastes. Let's go have a taste here. Looks good. Looks like noodle. Right? The noodle is just about right, not overcooked. A little too hot. <laughs> Straight out of the wok. Yeah, it's, it's got a it's supposed to have a little bit salty, a little bit sour, and a little bit sweet. I'm just supposed to put a little lime juice on there too, I forgot. I'll go get some from the fridge. <laughs> okay, so what do you think, man? What, what, what's the score out of 10? Eight. Eight? Nice. I give it a nine. But I have I've had better pad thai before. This is pretty good for home cooking. Thanks for watching. Push the like and subscribe because we need some new fans. Come on, let's go. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.